Hello everyone. Welcome to Come Sit at My Table. We're Tom and Melissa and we're really glad you're here. We always enjoy when you come to sit at our table. Today we're going to make something for breakfast that could also be used as like an appetizer. Now Melissa and I were school teachers before we retired. We taught for almost 30 years in our school system and during that time we raised a family. We had children. And so, you know, it wasn't always easy to get up at 5.30 in the morning and get two kids ready and get ourselves ready and get a warm breakfast in them and in us because we wanted them to go to school and us to go to work with a warm breakfast in our bellies. This is something that is so simple, so easy to do, and it's something you can make ahead. You can even make it ahead and freeze it and fix it when you get up in the morning. It's also really good to use as an appetizer. You can just make it if you're having company and put them out. People love these. What am I talking about? Well, we're going to make sausage pinwheels. Very simple, very easy, and delicious. Let's talk about what you're going to need. First, you're going to need two 16 ounce rolls of sausage. Now, Melissa and I like the mild sausage, but by all means, if you like spicy or you like the medium, use that. But you need two 16 ounce rolls. And I'm just going to put that in our mixer so that we can mix that up. And I've already got another roll in there. So we have two rolls in there now. You're also going to need one fourth of a cup of diced onion. And that's going to go right in and one fourth of a cup of diced bell pepper. Now, if you want to, you can use red, green, yellow, orange, whatever color you want, or you can combine them. Feel free to, to make it the way you like it. We just happen to have a green bell pepper. I actually normally use a red bell pepper for this, but we had a green, so, you know, I'm going to use it. Now that's all that goes in our sausage mixture. And all we're going to do is put our paddle on and let that mix up for just a minute or two. While that's mixing, let's talk about the last thing you're going to need. You're going to need some crescent dough sheets. You're going to need two tubes of this. If you cannot find the crescent dough sheets, you can use crescent rolls. Yes, they're perforated, but all you do is just push those seams together and make sure they're sealed good, and it'll make one full sheet. But if you can find the sheets, it makes it really easy. So, now that our sausage mixture is combined, we're just going to open up our crescent dough sheets and start making these. I am so glad they came out with these crescent dough sheets because it makes things like this so much easier than with the crescent roll doughs. And I, you know, I know that crescent roll dough is just fine. It's, it's easy to use, but you know, when you have these already in sheets and you don't have to try to, um, you don't have to try to push those perforations together. It makes it just a little easier. So when you take your crescent dough sheets out, you just want to try to at least form it somewhat into a rectangle. You may have to just gently pull on it, get it into a rectangle shape. And then we're just going to take our sausage mixture and spread right on top of there. So of course, since we're doing two, We'll take half the mixture to make each one. Um, and get all that off there. And let me tell you, if you don't have a mixer, you can do this with your hands. If you're doing it in your own kitchen for your own family, by all means, feel free just to use your hands. So all we have to do is take half of this mixture, put it on there, and spread it out. 
Yes, we want to cover the entire sheet of dough. We want to use every inch of this and we want to get a little bit of sausage in every single bite. So just spread it out and we'll roll it up and slice it. All right, here we go. Now, I should have also told you, if you would like to add a little bit of garlic powder to this, that would be really good. Um, we have done that before, but we're perfectly happy with it just the way it is. But by all means, if you, if you think it needs or you think you would enjoy a little more seasoning in it, by all means, feel free to add some garlic powder or even with the onion in here, you might want to add a little onion powder. I would not add the onion salt or garlic salt because the sausage already has salt in it. It's already seasoned. So you wouldn't really need to do that. All right, so we've got it pretty even here. So all we're gonna do is roll it up. We're gonna start with a short side. Notice this is a long side, this is the short side, and we're gonna start rolling from the short side. And all we have to do is just roll that dough right around, and you wanna keep it tucked pretty tight as you go. Now just pull it back on itself. Make sure it's tucked in there. And as you go, just pull it tight. Keep pushing the ends in. And once you have it all rolled up, then we're ready to cut it into pinwheels. Now, let's stop right here for just a minute. I'm gonna grab a cutting board here. But I wanna to talk to you about where we are right now. When you get to this point and it's rolled up, if you want to do this the night before, you can do up to this point, then just wrap it in some plastic wrap, put it in your refrigerator and leave it overnight. The next morning, all you have to do is get up and slice it into eight pinwheels. Each one is eight, so you'd have a total of 16 with this recipe. The next morning, slice it into 16, put them on your baking sheet, bake them, and you'll have fresh, hot sausage pinwheels. If you want to go ahead and bake them, you can do that, and as soon as they come out of the oven, you can serve them, or you can let them cool and then reheat them when you're ready to serve them. Um, you can do that for a few seconds in the microwave. You can stick them back in the oven for a few seconds. But here's what Melissa and I would do. We would slice them, put them on a parchment paper lined cookie sheet and stick them in the freezer. When they were frozen solid, we would put them in Ziploc freezer baggies. And when we were ready to use them, we would take them out, put them on a parchment paper lined cookie sheet and bake them. So we had fresh ones. So you can do it to this point and refrigerate them, slice them, freeze them, bake them later. Go ahead and bake them, save them till the next morning and reheat them. That's up to you. It's pretty versatile. It's very versatile and you know, when you're in a hurry and you need to get breakfast on the table, it's nice to have something like this waiting for you in the freezer or in the refrigerator. And you know, it helped us give our kids a hot meal and they love these. All right, so to get eight, I'm just gonna slice it right down the middle. Then I'm gonna slice that down, each one of those down the middle. This one down the middle too. And now each section of these right down the middle. I'm just gonna squeeze that right back down in there. So 
So this is giving us eight pinwheels. All right, so I'm going to take my baking pan. Now, Melissa and I don't need all of these tonight, so I'm only going to bake four for us. We're kind of having breakfast for dinner, are we? Yeah, kind of. We're going to just do four of these. I'll do the other crescent dough sheet. And that will be eight more. So that's going to give us these four plus the other eight. And we're going to freeze those. We will get them to this point right here. I'll put those 12, these four and the other eight, on a sheet just like this and stick them in our freezer. And when they're frozen solid, we're going to put them in a Ziploc baggie, freezer baggie, and keep them for later. All right, so this goes in a preheated 400 degree oven for 25 to 30 minutes. At about 25 minutes, you need to check them to see how brown they are. If they need another three to five minutes, you might want to leave them. But just 20, 20, no, about 25 to 30 minutes, 400 degrees. All right, we're going to put them in, and we'll be right back. Our sausage pinwheels were in for exactly 25 minutes, and they are perfectly done. So let's do a taste test. You want the first bite? I'd love the first bite. Okay, here we go. Ooh, did you hear that crunch? Yum. Mm. Man, that is so good. I could eat a dozen of those. That wouldn't be good for me, though. <laughs> Let me show you that we have the other 12 ready to go in the freezer. I'm going to freeze them just like this. Once they're frozen solid, we will bag them up. And as we want them, we'll take them out and bake them. Now, if we bake them from frozen, they'll have to bake longer than the 25 to 30 minutes. They'll probably take 40, 45 minutes. Or... You can take them out ahead of time and let them thaw and then just bake them like normal, 400 for 25 to 30 minutes. But they're, they work either way. All right. Thank you so much for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you would, we'd appreciate a thumbs up. If you've not already, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and the word all. And if you would, we'd appreciate you hitting the share button and sharing our video to your own social media page. Remember that right under this video, there is a description box. It'll have the title of the recipe. If you click in that box, that box will expand. Melissa always puts the written recipe in that box so that you can see the recipe written out. If you want to, you can even copy and paste it if you want to print it, but it will always be there for you to come back and find if you don't want to have to print it out. Um, we just, we wanna thank you for your encouraging words for the nice comments, we really do appreciate those. But most of all, we want you to remember that you are always welcome to come sit at my table. Have a wonderful day.